Hello, this is Russell and Bearcat, and welcome to City Skylines 2. Okay, we are getting started here, and as you can see, the uh, winter is about to end. I'm going to turn the timer on and let things run. We did make a few changes over the winter months, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like the winter as we watch it recede, um, so I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, the uh, I decided to just sit back and, for the most part, let it go. So we're going to come back in here. This is, um, as winter recedes, there's a few things we will do. The windmills have moved. We have brought the windmills over here onto the other side of the map. Uh, let's get things running. You can see them over here now. Um, we, we've moved them out of the center. We, at the beginning of this, during the beginning of the winter months, we built a new trash facility, a new landfill. Um, I really don't like the new landfill. Um, and, and what I did there, we turned this one, we emptied this one and turned this one off. So what we're going to do here now today, though, one of the nice benefits of what we did over the winter months is you'll notice we've got a nice war chest. We are making 600,000 credits a month. We have our little train station, which is working fairly nicely. Uh, if not perfectly, it is working fairly nicely and we're bringing things in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes. Uh, starting off right away. One of the first things we're going to do is come in here and decommission the building. The, and This is going to become an industrial area over here. And then with that, one of the things we are going to do here is the beginning of this industrial area is here in the back side of this industrial area. We are going to put in, even though I really think it is insanely priced and very difficult, I'm going to put in a recycling center. We are going to come in here to the recycling center because this will let us process our trash. We're going to put this on the back side of this area back here. We're going to put it right there. Okay. Now with that thing in mind, keep in mind, this is 200 and something thousand a month that it costs. So when I, as soon as I place that, my budget goes way down. However, we are going to start emptying the landfill. We're going to get rid of the landfill. We're going to use the recycling center instead. We are producing so, and then with that, let's take a look up here. Okay, now we've got a fire over here. Oh, it burns down. This is one of the issues that I am having is that the fire trucks are not making it in time. And that is costing me good properties that have leveled up. So we're going to have to do something about that as well. I believe my budget is fine. If we look at the small police station, where is my firehouse? It's an interesting thing is I've got some of the things here, but I don't see the firehouse here. All right, let's see if I turn this on right here. Do I have a fire? Oh, it's right here. Okay, right over here. There's my firehouse. I don't have too many of these dispatched, and I would not have thought that that was too far away. That should have been easily achievable to get over here to that thing, so I'm quite interested by the fact that it is not making it. Okay, with that, we're going to continue with what we're doing here. All right, we've got the recycling center, the processing speed, 200 a month. Let's look at our garbage recycling. Garbage recycling, 309 a month. We have 1,790 a month capability. Landfill capability, we're, going to, we're basically going to empty the landfill. So this thing will start emptying. And we've got that. So we're going to let that go and we're going to decommission this. We're, we're going to take all of that out. I don't like that. Now with this, with these surfaces down here, one of the things we are going to do is move these surfaces over here to an access road with a little roundabout here to get them in and out quickly. And then we're going to build a industrial park over here with some of the other components. So let's get started on this. And this is just going to be a relocating of things. Let's build our road network. What we'll do is we'll start here. And we're just going to bring up, let's actually start here with an alley. I'll bring the alley in right here, like that right there. Very good. And then I'm going to bring a road out on this other side over here. Like that. Okay, now then. With that in place, I actually want to take the small medical clinic and relocate it. I think I want to put it on Sterling Lane, okay? So we'll take this around here. I'm just going to relocate which side of the road it's on. It's on this side right now. 
we want to locate it over here and just back off of it a little bit like that. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's get this roundabout in here before we do much else. So what we're going to do is a medium roundabout. Put that in right there. Okay. With that, we now have a nice little roundabout for our cars and stuff coming in here. Now let's get the rest of our... Oh, I wanted this to have the zoning, not this. And this is where I really missed the zoning tool, and it's no longer even showing up. It's interesting. It was showing up the other day, and now it is no longer showing up. So the zoning tool was not evidently wasn't being maintained, and they've evidently removed it. It's no longer in my playset, and I didn't notice that when I loaded into the game. All right, well, we're not going to worry too much about that. I'll, uh, even that area right there, which I wanted to zone, I tell you what we'll do. Let's take a little, what I'll do is bring a little small road in here like this. And that made it do exactly what I want it to do. Now, if I take that out, will the road, will it, nope, it didn't. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, hey, what we'll do, let's do this. Let's come in here. I don't want anything zoned on this road right here. All right, and it's not letting me do that. Well, that did take out all the zoning there. And then let's see. I like that path that way there, down through there. Though. I mean, that's, uh, I can do that. Okay, and I don't need both walkways there, so let's go back to our road services here. Take the walkway here. We'll take that one out. We don't need it. We'll take that one out and back it out of there. That one is there. That's fine. Okay. We'll make that work. That puts the zoning where we want it. Okay, now with that in mind, let's now bring the small police station down. The other problem that we have here. If we look at our different things, we still have a good bit of crime. And that that could that is definitely a problem. I think we're still also let's check one other thing while we're here. Unemployment is, is improving. So what we're going to do, we're gonna leave this castle ruins down here. And we're going to kind of build around that area on that. So what we're gonna do is take this road. We're gonna come right to here and then right along here like this okay now then with that in there I'm going to bring the road in over here and then behind this road let's go further out through here like this like that okay I believe that will work and then Actually, I don't want to come to there. Let's see. We want to come to there and to there. And just have a road in there like that right there. Now then. And we want a couple of alleys over here. Like that. And then I want an alley back here behind this facility right here. And then what I want to do is curve this in here like that. All right, very good. Now what are the upgrades on this? Garbage truck depot, which goes on there. This right over here, what does that do? Flex hazards of this waste. Very expensive, but it does do 250 a month. And then a storage extension. So there's a number of things here that can increase what we're doing. Very good. Let's see about adding in a street here. This is industrial, so what we want to do is come right up here. I'm going to overlap this just a little bit there, and then we'll bring this road right down through here like this. And then this one extends out a bit further than I want it to. So what we're going to do is come right down through here like this. What I'm going to do is bring this to here, and then I'm going to 
bring that up there like that. Thinking about bringing this straight across through here like this. You can get on that line right there. Like that right there. Yeah, it keeps creates a broken pattern, but I kind of like that. Everything's coming in here, and then the road goes up in there. That, that. Okay, so that creates a road network there. And then we've got a little spot down here where we can create. Let's see, let's just do it straight along here. I'm going to come out through here and down through here and almost curve it around like this. Let's just take it in like that right there. Okay. It creates a nice little zoning area right in there. And I believe that's going to do what I'm looking for. Okay. So that creates a little industrial part. It's small. It's kind of like this one over here. It's not very big. And we're going to I'm going to try to use the area a little bit better. Now, let's look at this. 50 of 100 with everybody with 5 of 6 dispatched. Let's look at, and one of the issues that we have is the police up here. They don't get up here. So one of the things that I'm thinking about is coming up here and looking at some of the services here. There's another a second small medical clinic. And we certainly don't have enough. So the, uh, with the medical clinic there, I'm thinking we could put another small police station here. Let's look at the cost. Small police station, 16.5. As the Aurora it cost more, but it has more jail cell capacity. That's right, Jim. And the Don't urban police station cost a good bit more. It promises to be quite a sight. You get the money for the urban police station, and it might fit in the decor of this area a little bit better. Coming right in here like this. Bigger building. I'm thinking about putting this thing in here. Think about putting it in right here on this side street. I don't know what other buildings will add on to it, but that certainly seems to be a good spot for it. All right, let's place that urban police station in here. See what it does from a landscaping standpoint. I think we're okay there. That's well, a very brutal building, isn't it? Okay, we're still good on our budget. Now with this in here, do we really need anybody else? I think we might be able to shut the other one down. But let's see if this thing goes in here. Employees. Arrested criminals. Okay, that's going to come in there. I think we'll end up shutting this other one down. Maybe. We're def definitely going to need to be able to create districts at some point in time. And do some other things. Now we're also going to need a little. I don't know if we need a fire station up here or not. Oh, high rent. Okay, I'm getting a couple of high rent things up in here. This is high rent. There is one resident, a dog. Well, yeah, that would probably explain the high rent sign, wouldn't it? Let's see, let's check this one out too. Residents one, a dog. And then we're going to check this one out over here as well. Just to make sure that we have the same thing going on in all three. Now this one does have a resident. It is an adult. The occupation is a student. And they are a student, so they're not making any money. Alright, well, that is what it is. How is our landfill doing it? Empty? It should be ending, but I am not seeing really any evidence of that. We are, we've got stored garbage. We've got processing speed. So it is processing a lot of garbage. Is this thing going down any? I'm not seeing any evidence that it is ending. Well, we're going to give it a little bit of time and then we'll just destroy it. Okay, with that in mind, let's go back to what we're doing over here. Um, now that we've added some more police capacity, we're going to go ahead and zone in some more row housing in here. We're going to take this with our same pattern that we've been doing here, four deep on either side. 
and then a block of four here. Boom. I'm going to do a couple of blocks of this. We'll start getting all of this filled in. Oops, that was four, not five. Okay. I guess I'm going to go ahead and put the last one in. Why not? At this point. It goes in there. That there and that there. Okay, now we've got all of that in there. Once that fills in some, we'll be doing good. Now let's fill in, from an industrial standpoint, we need jobs. And I'm just going to fill these in. Let that go in there. We're gonna let that go in there, that in there. That. We're not putting anything on that side. Nothing over there, but we are doing this area down in here. Okay, and then I don't want to do that section down through there. So that is what I do want to do here, though, is this right down through here. Okay, now we've put in a lot of industri industry. We've sapped all of the industry demand. It should help our commercial stuff. So what I'm going, what I am going to do here, is come in here and put all of the commercial zone down through there. We have a small post office. It's got stored mail, employees delivering four or four. Very good. We've got a bunch of taxis coming in here. But the traffic on this little area right in here is pretty high. Still, there's still some traffic jams. Oh, look at the, uh, look at all the taxis coming through the end of the industrial zone. Wow. They're going off over that way. There's a lot of traffic going up that way on that, on that arterial. Okay. With that in mind, let's see. How is this thing doing? Oh, wow. We've got 3,000 tons of storage. We got all kinds of things we're shipping in and out. And let's see what we're doing here. All right, we're, we're back to 450,000 a month. So we're doing pretty good on that. Now we are gonna start thinking about districting soon. That will be one of the next things that comes up. Our road maintenance is doing okay. Might be time to think about buses and stuff like that soon. Probably not for this episode, but it will be coming. And let's see, oh, that is completely full. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. That one is not full. This one is full and I don't think I've already upgraded it. Hmm. All right. I can put in a playground, which is going to improve the uh, aesthetics of the area. Let's put that playground in right there as a, that'll be a park. Nice. All right, the elementary and the, oh, look at the traffic jam, would you? Where are all these taxis going? See, that's, I, I, that's all of the people moving in, I bet. Okay, with that and all those people moving in, let's take a look at unemployment. Woo, unemployment is really low. All right, very good. Well, that's what we wanted was low unemployment. I think this will settle down once people get moved in. Let's just let it go. We've got this nice industrial area over here on both sides with some buffer zone. Now, as people come into the town, let's actually create some landscaping down through here. Uh, let's see, right over here, right over here. I want to do the tree mode. I'm gonna do wild deciduous and just kind of sprinkle some trees down in through here with different ages. Oh, all of those were little. Let's fill it in a little bit more. Okay, like that. Now what we don't want is anything in here because we are going to line this with the spruce and what we'll do is take this bulldozer, get that out and that out. 
the rail yard is going to have some trees put around it. And we're going to come over here to our spruce and go back to our single tree for our line tool. And we're going to space these things out in meters. And this time, I don't want anything but full adult trees. There we go. We've got some bushes around there. Other things around here. All right. And then let's go to this. Back over to here. We've got a number of different... Uh, Back to this, back to this. Alright, now we've got a bunch of different things over here. And just sprinkle some trees in there like that. Alright. Very good. A few trees down in here, not many. Trees up on there. And with that, we've got a nice looking area. Now we want to do these facilities here a little bit more. So we've got a small medical clinic. We've got a small police station, and I'm going to move the small police station right over here like that. And then the firehouse, I'm going to move the firehouse too. Alright, let's see about bringing in... Okay, so we've got the firehouse, we've got this. There is an upgrade on this, and it just comes over to the other side, okay. And I, well, I have, I don't have anything dispatched, okay. Oh, this is still at 50 of 10. Is this other police station not working? Oh, it is, okay, but only 3 of 40. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's do some detailing around this building though. I think it would look a little nicer with a, a nice city park here beside this would be nice. Let's see, a tiny city park. Put that in there. And if what I want to do is come here, come to my surfaces. I want to get the grass surface here. I'm going to come here. Here, here. Oh yeah, okay. Let's see if I can get this in here. Nice. Uh, let's see. That there. That there, that down there, all right, this will take some doing, but hey, I got that in there, nice, bring that in there, that there, that there, There. That. So this, just have to walk this in a little at a time. These weird configurations here. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty nice. And it looks like we've got a park that's extended there. And then let's take this one out here. Oh, come on. You gotta quit doing that. I hate the fact that it takes out the zoning. It shouldn't be capable, the, the, the surface tool shouldn't be capable of taking out the zoning. That is so frustrating. Okay. Build that back. Where's the crane? Don't know, but we've got a park in there. And then let's go over here and let's see. Let's go back into here. I think we'll do this this right here 
on this. Goes all the way down through here. Uh, nope. That in there. And put that in there. Okay. That just looks like part of the pavement there. We got a park on this side. Very good. And then I guess I'm hoping that's building back in. But that was uh, very frustrating. Under construction. That was a nicely leveled up building that I just lost due to trying to put down grass. So part of the detailing is definitely still an issue at times. All right, I've got my post office in here. I've got some of this demand. We've still got office demand, which is kind of surprising, all things considered. But what we are going to do, because we've done it in other places, is we are going to come down in here and put in a whole strip of these buildings with a little bit of gap in them. There and there. Industrial coming down through there. Oh, wait a minute. You know something? Let's change that. Change my mind here. Let's come over here and do this. Here, here, here. We'll do this entire section with residential. Okay. There we go. That should be nice. Okay, that building came back in. I'm kind of uh, happy about that. Not happy that I lost a nice leveled up building because I mean that thing was that thing is level four. I bet that was a level five building. Oh, well, it'll, it'll come back up. You'll notice my happiness meter down here. I'm doing really well on the happiness. They're still unhappy about the high taxes and the noise pollution. High crime. But we're trying to work on the crime stats. That's what this police station is all about. All right. And with that, then, this police station down here should be... Oh, it's still got too many criminals. I would have thought this would... Uh, be lower. I'm very tempted to make this cover just the industrial park and see what that does. Create a district. Let's do that. But what I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to come over to here, over to here. Basically, let's make this right here. Bring this all the way down through here, down to here, to here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up the river here. I'm gonna cross here. Let's, uh, so this is just gonna be a we go. Now that is just for that district. The rest of them should be picked up by the others. All right, and we'll see what that does to the small base of operations here. Small police station, and we have a Garnet Springs. I don't know if I like that name, Garnet Springs, but that's what we're going to go with. Right, let's create some more districts since we're already into that right now. We're going to go ahead and from here up to here. Bring this over to here. So I like the district tool. I have to admit this is a great way of doing things. Come down through here. Uh, nope. Right, and right back across all the way over to there. So that's Cedar Gardens. There we go. And then this is going to come down through here to here. Let's see. Right. Let's see if I can get that to stop. 
All right, we will continue with the districting when we come back. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available, and check out the links shown here for more gameplay. Take care.